I will get this right. Hello and welcome along to the vlog. Um, I've just been putting some um, pictures up onto an Etsy store that um, Tam and I are building um, and putting it uh, on our blog at englishmaninthebalkans.co. Uh, and if you want to go there, there's a tab called shop. And Tam started to design some like desktop calendars so that you can put them on your laptop or your um, yeah desktop and um, yeah get some scenes of the Balkans and wherever and uh, I'm putting up some of the better images that I've taken over the past few years of the Balkans which are of a quality that can be printed and put into um, frames just now there was this big bang well there was a really 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 big pop um, outside um, and all the electricity went off because uh, I think um, we've just had a downpour of rain and uh, yeah so and it's just come on maybe you heard the beep there so what's been happening um, we are getting ready for an autumn season of the vlog I'm hoping it's still gonna be some nice days earlier on today it absolutely poured down with rain again the clouds came and massive downpours and now they've gone and where I'm standing at the moment just come out to I don't know get some more vitamin D the Sun is roasting it really is my friend from years ago former colleague Rob will be here on the 30th so we're looking forward to that See what he thinks about Bosnia. Over there, on the other side of the trees, I think the engineers come to uh, repair the blown fuse on the um, spur. We have um, all our cables are above the ground and that supplies us with our electricity here. So when they go pop, um, somebody has to come out and fix it. Or maybe he was working on it and it went pop, he did something wrong. But the power's back on now. Scratch and sniff video would be great because it's quite overwhelming at the moment. There's our grapes. The uh, plums and the apples were pretty poor this year, but these are these are very, very nice at the moment. Very nice indeed. Tam's father will be making this and there's tons at the top of the of the garden. Uh, he will make a good barrel load of wine. The trouble is with us. The wine's supposed to stay for some time. Um, but there's this habit, at least in this village, hamlet of people liking to drink young wine. Tastes more like grape juice actually than wine. And we can sit down and just talk and drink and have all the nice meze, the sliced meats and everything. And you wake up the following morning thinking that somebody hit you over the head with the bad part of a shovel. <laughs> and you want me to go back and live in London? You're mental. And these big boys, I say how big they are, look at this. These quinces and apples, what we've got left, um, I'm going to make into chutney. We've still got uh, jars left. Of chutney from the last time I made some. It took two days. I have to sit down with some drink and peel all the apples and tomatoes, whatever, and make chidarchini chutney. It's very, very unusual for people to want to have something sweet like a chutney when they're eating cheese here. But you know, I've got this crazy Brit and everybody sort of like humours me. A quick update from the Shire. And I'll catch you wherever you see this. Woo! There we go. <laughs> and I'll catch you whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook or Vidme 
or wherever. A quick little chatty one, nothing really serious. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward for Tam coming back later on, find out what's been happening in Belgrade. Um, she went for a couple of days to see an old friend. So yeah, that's it. Okay, till next time, stay safe wherever you are. Bye for now. <laughs>